Hello everyone. Welcome to the training session for the topic archiving. Archiving basically means collection of historical documents or records providing information. Archiving in SAP allows you to remove data from database and store it in a consistent and secure manner. The archived data is stored in a file system and from there can be moved to other or uh, can be taken up or as a most cost efficient storage media. Data archiving is an administrative task performed by the technical consul consultant on a regular basis. Now the archiving process is involves a four steps. One is pre-processing, then write, then delete and at the end process post-processing. So if we go and discuss archiving more in detail, uh, in general, generally large amount of uh, database data is produced in the production system which is known as the live SAP system of any business application which often times is reflected in a deterioration of system performance and an increased usage of resources. So when there is a large volume of data on the day-to-day -day basis, what is does it? it? It keeps on adding more and more data to the database and when the data becomes huge in amount, it cause performance, it cause a lot of other resources for the organization. Even cost can also be negatively affected by large data volume. Since resources and efforts spent on the database administration go up as a result. Therefore, data from closed business processes, meaning data that is no longer needed in a day-to-day -day business processes shall be moved out of the database in order to gain a reduction in cost and improve the performance and system availability. The data has to be removed from the database and is stored in such a way that it is always accessible for reading if necessary in future. This process of taking up the data from the database and storing it at a different place so as to access it for the future is the task of SAP data archiving which we will be covering up today. Which allows you to remove data from the database and store it in a consistent and secure manner. The archived data is stored in a file system and from there can be moved to other more cost efficient storage medias. As said, with continuous usage of SAP results in huge amount of enterprise data, this leads to problems such as data overflow, longer transaction processing time and performance degradation and at the same time increased cost. So these are some of the advantages and disadvantages of having excess data and if you archive them on a regular basis it helps you in maintaining the performance and keeping the cost at the lower side. You may need to delete an archive these data and the data can be of two types one is a master data and another are the transaction data from the system which are no longer required in the online system in, in the online SAP system so you need specify the minimum number of days that the transaction data and the respective secondary index must be in the system before they can be archived so we'll be moving up to the the SAP side in a while. So the, there are a number of benefits if you follow the archiving process on a regular basis as we discussed is it improves your performance, your system performance and the system response time. It saves the cost by optimizing our available resources. 
in the SCP system. So, as you can see in the below screen, there are four main steps in SCP archiving. One is pre-processing. In the pre-processing part, they, we need to go for a deletion indicator to be set in this step. The data which will be taken up will be taken up as a deletion mark, then applicable for some other objects as well. And the second steps come up is write. In this, we record the chosen transactions or the database from the archiving for archiving basically from SCP system to be written up in archiving file system. So in this particular step in writing, we write all the transactions or the database from the online system to a particular location uh, which is known as the file system to a particular path on the server or it could be on a, on a, on a particular other hardware. So that is something which the company or the client have to take the call for. Then the third steps come up is the delete. In this written documents will be deleted. So the documents which has been ready, has been already written in the uh, in the other system file or the file system. Now those those records will be deleted from the online SAP system, applicable for all objects to ensure that the archive file system backup is taken for written records. At least two days gap needs to be maintained before performing the delete step. So in the delete step, we delete all the data within the SCP system and we store those data to some other place, other storage media out of the online SAP system. Now moving up to the fourth process that is post processing. Post deleting the secondary indexes in the FI documents, if you talk about FI module and movement data in the quality management and this control. So this is something post processing which we need to do. We need to delete the, the secondary indexes, indexes which needs to be maintained from the technical side in the SAP system. So this is just an overview to you what archiving is, how archiving is done in the SAP system. Archiving basically involves four process steps. One is pre-processing, then writing, then deleting, and finally post-processing. So now we'll be moving up to the SAP FI part and we'll see what are the archiving steps within the SAP FI. Before moving up to the steps in the SAP system, few things need to be understood. Archiving of data, whether it is of any module, doesn't matter. It is the work or the responsibility of the technical consultant. The technical consultant basically refers to the SAP basis consultant who need to maintain, need to do this archiving activity on a regular basis from time to time. So that particular technical consultant has this particular responsibility to define the storage media, what will be the location for storing the data or what will be the path and all these processes which we have seen are something which has been done by that particular technical consultant for the SAP system. But just to give you an archiving overview, in the SAP FI part, we'll be moving up with So, now we'll be moving up in the SAP FI part and in FI the configuration steps basically involved for archiving is archiving account type life, archiving document type life and then the third step is to develop enhancements for archiving. So we'll be following each of these steps in the SAP system and we'll see how these archiving configurations are done. So once these configurations are done in place in the SAP FI module for the FI data, for the FI database that is the master data and the documents within the SAP system, 
the writing work is then later on being done by the technical consultant they need to write those document in a, in a particular hardware which will be stored out of the SAP system whether it is on the server or any other media storage so moving up in the SAP screen now for archiving to go to the path for the archiving in the SAP FI module we need to execute the transaction SPRO enter so as you can see as we executed the transaction code SPRO and entered it took you to the next screen that is customizing execute project in this we need to click on to SAP reference IMG that is the implementation guide so click on to this and it will take you to the next level that is display IMG now this is the screen where all the different module configurations are been done so if you look for your financial accounting part the financial accounting new is the one where we need to go so we need to expand this tab over here in front of that now click on to this and it will expand so as you can see the financial activity has been expanded over here and then we need to go to financial accounting global settings expand this further within financial accounting new you need to expand financial accounting global settings new and within that if you go down you will find below authorization there is a option of tools so we need to click on tools and we need to expand it so as you expand this in this you will find that there is validation and substitutions then there is custom enhancements and the next is archiving so this is the archiving topic which we need to we need to look after how this has been done what are the configurations in financial accounting which we need to take care of so we can expand this part over here and it comes up with the second option that is archiving accounting data archiving so this basically the what we are doing is archiving the accounting documents from the SAP system to any XYZ place so expanding the steps further so what I did is I expanded it further and it gave you three different steps one is archiving account type life second is account archiving document type life and the third is develop enhancements for archiving so the path is simple we need to go to financial accounting new then we need to go to financial accounting global settings new and within that you need to go to tools and once you expand the tools you will find archiving expand it further you will find accounting document archiving and if you expand the accounting document archiving you will find these three steps these three configuration steps for financial accounting now let's have a look what these all steps look like is all about so archiving accounting type life in this activity you need to specify a minimum life for accounts in day so whatever the different account which we refer as GL account or ledger we need to give them a minimum life in days so as to fix the days for those accounts so as to archive them when archiving documents the system checks whether this minimum life is adhered to or not so you must have to decide the minimum life because that is the minimum number of life in days which must be followed for archiving the account data the information on the document is held in parallel to the actual document data in the secondary index of GL accounts so let's see what this particular step the first one archiving account type life is all about so exp now going to the symbol over here IMG activity so click on to the symbol and it will take you to the next stage for the first configuration step as clicked and now you can see that it take you to the next screen and its heading says 
change view document archiving account life overview so as you can see in the screen there is a company code on the first column then there is account type from and to account then the life and last secondary indexed runtime so account type is something which you have must have studied by now earlier in the SAP FI module part there are basically five different account types used A, D, K, M, S as you can see on the screen A basically refers to assets D refers to customers K refers to vendor M refers to material and S refer to general ledger account. So these are the five account type for which we need to maintain the account number from and to and the life minimum life for the archiving part. So the information on the document is held in parallel to the actual document data in the secondary index of GL account over here customer account and the vendor account so by defining the secondary index life in the last column you can determine how many days a secondary index for a document is to remain in the system related to clearing date and archiving key date so the secondary date becomes meaningful where you can you can have those documents or uh, in the system for the clearing and for the archiving key date this means that the secondary index are no longer deleted immediately after archiving but not until after the period which you have specified so whatever the secondary index days you maintain the data will be archived only after that particular date even after the archiving date so to note you have to take care that in this screen as you can see there is a company code star is marked that means this is applicable for all the company codes otherwise if you want to implement this particular archiving for a particular specific company code you can take that particular company code as well so to define the account life you need to specify the account number intervals for all or select GL account so you can see over here for defining the account from and to you can see for account type A, D, K, M, S every account has been mapped from and to so from is 1 and 2 account is to till the maximum that is 99999 till end so that means they have taken up all the account all the GL account numbers in between that range so similarly you need to define the account number intervals for all the account type like for example if I go and add one over here in the new entries as you can see if you want to create your own over here you can go to new entry then you can take the company code over here the next is you need to take the account type and then you need to take the from account and to account and life and then secondary so or the other way out is you can copy any of them suppose I copy one of them from over here copy as and you can see the star is over here instead of star you can put your own company code as well so as we have maintained the company code 1306 the account type is S and the GL you can name it from and to range suppose I name it the range from 1 7 times zeros till 9999 that means whatever GL are there in the company code that all will be taken up for archiving for the account type S so similarly you can also do it for the other accounting type the other account type like ADKSM and now moving up from and to is okay now the life and the secondary index run so the life as of now is 9999 this is days not months or weeks or years so if you want to reduce the number of days and you want to make it as around 365 days that is every every year end the data should be archived or you can go for archiving it for a lesser period than this like uh, suppose I take it as 2196 and 
2196. So 2196 days makes around 6 years. So 6 year after every after 6 years the data will be archived is something or every after 2196 days the data will get archived on a regular basis is something which refers to 6 years. Uh, is something which you can be defined. Similarly, you can define your own if you want. You can you can take it as uh, 196 days as well. And every after 196 days, the data will be archived from the SAP system for all these different account types. So this is how you need to maintain it over here on the screen. So once you have maintained, enter, and it will get it copied, and then we can go back. So as, okay, save it, yes. And now if you go back again on this particular step, you can see now that the company code 1306 with the account type S from and to GL for the number of days of 196 has been taken up. So the archiving minimum days is 196. After 196 days, the data can be archived. So as you can see, this is done for one particular company code for the account type S, that is general ledger. Similarly, you can do it for A for asset, D for customer, K for vendor, and M for material. Similarly, you can copy and you can you can give the from and to account number and the days you want to put as a minimum archiving days can be taken up. But in case you take it as star, star refers to that it will be applicable for all the company codes. So that is something you have to take care. So while selecting the accounts for archiving, the system always uses the most exact entry for an account. This means that the entries with a star are not exact. The system searches for the shortest relevant GL account interval in both the company code and the account type combinations. The index lives must always be after or the same as that of the account life. So as you can see the last column, this last column, so this archiving over here 196 days as secondary index runtime should always be the days after the life days or equal to the life days. So the secondary index number of days should not be earlier than the account life days. So it is what you need to take care of. So similarly, you can you can create for the other account types for your particular company code. So that is it. Now you can go and you can save this and this first configuration has been completed. So this is how you would be maintaining your archiving account type life. Now moving up to the next is so next step is archiving document type life. In this activity, again we need to specify a minimum life in days depending on the document type. When archiving document, the system checks whether the minimum life is adhered to or not for the document type. So whatever the different documents which will be archived will be checked with the document type used in that particular document and what are their minimum life for archiving the documents. So in this case again now we will be maintaining the minimum life as per the different document type. So you can go and you can execute this step again over here and as you click on to this it will take you to the next screen for document type life as you can see star star 9999 so this refers to the company code then the document type and then the document life. So if you want to maintain it for your own company code, you can go to new entries and you can take the company over here, the company code. The company code can be taken up over here. So suppose I take the company code as 1306 and then you can take the document type. In case the document type includes multiple or you want to archive for all the document types, you can take it as a star. Star means it will cover all the different doc, all the document types available in the SAP system. And then you can put the document life to it. Suppose again I take the document life as 2196 or 196, it's up to you. So suppose I take the document life as suppose 90 days. So after 90 days, the document type 
life will be allowed so as to be archived so in normal cases we will normally used to take three to four years of time uh, after that only the, that particular data is archived but just for an example over here we are taking out taking it up as 90 days because we will not be having that much of a data in the SAP system so as to look for it so similarly you can put your own minimum document type days life days and normal cases it's always go vary from four to four years and above to it so once this has been maintained you can go and you can save this and it will be configured so okay and now if I go back so you can see now this has been maintained over here and now if you want to check whether this archiving config is working or not so in that case you can go to the header and on the last step you will find archive test so in this you can test any of the accounting document whether that will be archived or not as a as a test part so once let's click on to archive test and once you click on to it it will take you to the next screen it says check whether documents can be archived specify document so you can take any document number over here which you can try you can check for whether it will be archived or not so suppose I take the document number as 2000001 and then you need to take the fiscal year, you need to take the company code and then you need to take the key date so the key date is up to you whatever date you wish to take it up as uh, and that will be taken up so enter okay and ask you for the for the key date so let's take a key date on the key date when the data will be archived so suppose I take the key date over here for today same day today's date is taken as key date and now enter on the screen so it will take you to the next screen enter and you can see now over here you will find test run document cannot be archived why because this particular document number which we are trying to archive has been posted on 27th of May 2015 which is which doesn't fulfill the minimum life days for the account type so that is what the message you can learn over here for both the ledger account used for it and it says the account type life not reached so the account type life which we have maintained in the earlier config step was 196 days so if the document is posted on May 27th 2015 that means it has not yet completed 196 days <laughs> that is why it will not allow you to archive the data so the document type life not reached as you can see so the life is different for account type we have maintained 196 days for document type life we have maintained 90 days but ultimately the document term type is ultimately related to one of the ledger account and that particular ledger account life days has to be met so now we can go back again and let's try to have some other document number which can allow us to move with it so let's try a new screen and search a document number which is of more than 196 days so let's execute run this and find certain documents now in this let's search for the earliest one okay gives you the latest so let's reverse it so now you can see over here this particular document was posted in May 6 2014 that is last year so we can take that this or that any of them and we can try with that as well so even then will it allow let's see and we will be archiving it on all right enter so does not exist in the fiscal year okay or has been archived all right 
let's search it in this part let's take any other document number so this is the basic step by which you can you can try and check whether the data has been archived or not will it work mm. okay if I take it as enter 2014 doesn't exist okay the same way so you need to text test this with an older document and similarly when we will do the testing the message will generate over here whether the document will be allowed for archiving or not so this is how you can test it in your own system once you have done that now moving back to let's do one thing let's change the account type again and I make it as 90 days now so now the 90 days account type days has been maintained and 90 days has been maintained for document type life as well and now again we can test it so again you can go to this on the header archive test click on to the archive test then again we can take the document number over here now it has been maintained for 90 days enter okay so is it even though it says cannot be archived so probably we need to change the days the minimum days further and uh, need to test that so this is how you can test the same thing at your end and this is how the archiving config is done for the account type life and as well as for the document type life and after doing this you can go to this archive test and you can do the testing for archiving whether it is done or not whether it is working properly or not so apart from these config there are certain configurations need to be done from the technical consultant side as well that at which path or which place or which storage media location the data need to be stored need to be written to and later on after that the deletion of the data from the SAP system is done by the technical consultant so this is how you need to do these two for the configurations for accounting data maintaining the account type life and maintaining the document type life so this is where the two important part which we have covered and now moving up to the next is develop enhancements for archiving now SAP have provided you a new functionality that you can go for enhancements as per your requirement so for SAP enhancements are available for archiving in FI areas as well now for that SAP has provided you uh, another FI archiving program and with the help of that archiving FI archiving program you can do enhancements within that particular program as per your new requirements so one can create their own enhancements to archive the data from the SAP system but this cannot be done by a, a particular SAP FIC consultant you need a technical consultant uh, an ABAP consultant ABAP ABAP consultant so as to do these enhancements to writing up these programs writing up a ABAP source code to run these enhancements within the SAP system so if you go to this next step that is develop enhancements for archiving if you execute this it will take you to the next screen as you can see it asks you the project management of SAP enhancement so you should have the project name for that particular module so for every different modules it will have a different project name and if you have that particular project name only then you can go for the enhancements for archiving the data from the SAP system so for SAP FI part the project is 
एफ ए आर सी ट्रिपल जीरो वन सो दिस इज द प्रोजेक्ट और द इनहांसमेंट कोड विच यू नीड टू यूज फॉर राइटिंग द इनहांसमेंट फॉर एफ आई आरकाइविंग प्रोग्राम एंड अगेन रिपीटिंग दैट दिस नीड्स टू बी डन बाय द अब एप सोर्स कोड सो डिफरेंट सोर्स कोड्स आर रिटन एंड दैट कैन ऑलवेज बी रिटन बाय द अब एप कंसल्टेंट्स विद इन दी एस सी पी सिस्टम सो वंस यू हैव टेकन दिस एंड देन यू कैन एंटर ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड इट विल टेक यू टू द नेक्स्ट स्क्रीन so this is how just to show you an overview so you have taken this project you need to go and click on create and it will create a project management of sap enhancements so moving up to next then you need to write this short text for creating the enhancement and then later on you can move further so this is something which is an advanced part which i will not be explaining you much on this because this varies as per the client to client requirement at different client places so and even this is to be looked by the abap or the technical consultant more on this so with this we have completed the basic configuration in the sapfi part but again there are certain transaction code which are used by the technical consultants for creating the archive for all the administrative kind of a task for archiving and then the information system exploring the data whatever has been it has been written or archived and which module and all those things so these are certain transactions one is sara sara that is archive administration so with the transaction code sara we uh, you can uh, are have a view on the on the administration how the archiving is done the next is sari so it refers to archive information system so sari transaction code gives you the whole archiving information about the what has been has been archived in which module what are the different data which has been archived and has been deleted has been written and all those things then again sari is further exploring the archiving data how much has been done and all those things so it gives you certain reports and then the last one is al01 it is for search for documents with relationships including archive so you can find certain documents which are there in the sap system and how those need to be archived in the uh, out of the sap system and if they these documents are related with some other documents or some other modules then how they are linked to their relationships can be looked so these are certain transactions which are used by the basis consultant while archiving the data from the from the sap system to the another storage media so that is all about the archiving in sap fi part mind it again that this is not a work this is not a responsibility of an sap of sap fic consultant this is basically the work of a technical consultant for archiving the data from the sap system you just should have the basic knowledge about archiving and what are the things you need to do in your particular module that is sap fi part so that is what we all have covered about it you can have a look and you can practice that at your end and will give you more visibility on and understanding on that part to you so that is it see you in the next training session again with a new topic till then thank you take care have a nice day